Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is our lecture number 12, already 11 lectures covered. From lecture number 1 to lecture number 7, we discuss about the solution of the second order differential equation by Frobenius method. And lecture 8 to 11, actually, we discussed uh, about the partial differential equation solution uh, for uh, rectangular coordinate system of the Laplace equation in rectangular as well as spherical and cylindrical coordinate system and example from the electrostatics okay in this video I want to discuss about the wave equation and its solution uh, in case of the vibration mode for the stress string we want to discuss in this lecture right uh, you can watch the syllabus of the University of Calcutta third semester physics honors this part that is uh, Frobenius method and special function discuss in lecture number one to lecture number seven and we start like uh, this part and this was already covered from lecture number 8 to lecture number 11 okay so if you want to watch the previous lecture you can go through the description box link are given there in this video I want to discuss this one that is the stress string solution for the wave equation clear the about the root of this lecture series okay so let's start this is the uh, first we derive the wave equation which already you discussed uh, you derived in the second semester in your uh, course i think you all done this uh, equation wave equation derivation but i just uh, recap your uh, concept that is the if this is a string are uh, initially at that and you stretched like that so the tension at these two point p and q like that this is an t and this is will be t uh, show the component of t this angle tangential angle is theta and this tangential angle taken as theta minus delta theta so the uh, at point p uh, sorry at point q the horizontal component will be like that uh, this is a vertical component just vector component of this t similarly for the vector component of that t will be like that so you can see the horizontal component to are opposite and vertical component also to opposite but when this delta theta is very small when this delta theta is very small then what happen then you can consider this t cos theta and d cos minus delta theta uh, sorry cos theta minus delta theta will be equal so these two are cancel out that means the horizontal component are cancel out to each other only the vertical component present okay so if you just uh, sign a minus b formula using you will be to get these two things and these two are cancel out because cos delta theta tends to one and sin delta theta tends to delta theta you know when delta theta is very small this will be happen okay so these two are cancel out only presenting this term and this can be written as uh, t delta sin theta right now <coughs> you know when this theta is very small sin theta is nearly to equal to tan theta because cos theta is nearly to one so tan theta is nothing but the slope of the curve with respect to x this can be written as dy dx or del y del x uh, because y is a function of x also t that's why we uh, need to write this and del i but i write here d uh, i think this must be del okay so the uh, this this is net force will be t delta dy dx this is sin theta okay net force was like that so sin theta is uh, sorry sin theta is cos theta so the, sin theta is tan theta so this is dy dx so this can be written as uh, del can be written as ddx of delta x so this is nothing but this one now you know if this uh, the mass of this pq will be rho delta x because rho is the mass per unit length if you take this rho is the mass per unit length so the mass of this segment that is the pq segment mass of this segment will be mass of this segment will be like that okay uh, mass of this segment will be sorry mass of this segment will be like that so newton's law equation mass into acceleration equal to this force this is the force sorry this is the force and this is the mass into uh, acceleration sorry i think there is a missing yes yes there is a missing sorry what happened i want to write something here okay there is a missing of this term uh, sorry this is t d2y dx square delta x right please correct this one okay so this will be equal to that one this is the acceleration if you multiply with this mass you will be get this total force 
so this uh, t by rho and d2 by dx square delta x will be cancelled out so you will be get this as a v square for dimensionally you can take this as a v square so this is the velocity of this wave and this is the wave equation of the velocity string wave equation of wave within the string this derivation actually done in this your previous semester okay so now you uh, wants to solve we need to solve this equation uh, using this boundary condition the boundary condition is like that at x equals to 0 y is 0 x x equal to l y is 0 for any time okay and at t, t equals to 0 this will be a function of x this y will be a function of x because this depend on x at t equals to 0 if you initially shape will be like that this will be the function of this this is initial condition now from the separation of variable method we can take this y as a function of x and t so this is a function of x and t taking the derivative and put this equation you will be get these two separation and taking this separation constant after taking separation constant you get the equation of x and whose solution you know this is and for t the solution will be like that so total solution will be multiplication of these two solution and use now use this boundary condition the boundary condition at x equal to 0 and x equal to is both are 0 so at x equals to 0 t at any time this will be like that so you will be get one constant is negative of another constant put this value you will be get this equation i think you remember there is a one constant and this multiply with that one gives another constant and this multiply with that one gives you another constant uh, actually we need to reduce the constant okay so constant into constant is gives you single constant that's why you reduce constant by like that and you know at y tends to infinity uh, t tends to infinity y uh, must be finite why must be finite why it cannot be infinity because it is a string stay string this is finite value so you can see here if you put t tends to infinity this become infinite uh, become infinite that's why t must e must be zero so the solution will be like that okay now using the condition that at uh, x equal to l this will be also zero if you put x equal to l this become like that and from where you will be get the value of k which is n pi by l okay so if you put this value of k in the previous solution that is the within this solution put this value of uh, k equals to n pi by l you will be get this one so the total solution will be summation of that one okay summation of that one and you know this at t at, at the initial this will be equals to f of x so this will be f of x so f of x can be find out uh, sorry this constant coefficient constant will find out the Fourier uh, transfer equation and so the solution will be like that okay this is the solution for fn can be calculated by this when this f of x is given then you can calculate this solution i think clear about the solution process now given an example taken an example that is the vibration of an electrostatic string are uh, like that here the velocity taken as one this any unit system we can take this as one this is a system dependent this uh, this constant actually system dependent so we can say that this solution will be uh, the equation will be like that okay so the length of the string is pi and the ends are fixed the initial velocity is zero and the initial deflection also like that so this is the boundary condition find the deflection at any time okay so this uh, differential equation can be written as like that because of separation of variable take this separation you can write down this two solution right these two solution now using this boundary condition that t x equals to 0 and x equal to pi these are fixed that means the y equals to 0 so x equal to 0 u equal to 0 if you put this equation if you put in this equation that is x equal to 0 u equals to 0 you will be get <coughs> this expression now if you put this another that is x equal to pi u equal to 0 you will get this one finally you get this value of k equals to n put this value you will be get this solution now take this uh, derivative you will be get the velocity expression because at t equals to 0 this velocity is 0 so using this you will be get dn equals to 0 you can see here because this is uh, uh, because at t equals to 0 the velocity will be 0 so this is 0 so dn must be 0 the solution will be like that and this can be written as this u x 0 equal to this also given in the boundary condition you can see here so this uh, sin c plus sin d is 2 sin c plus d by 2 cos c minus d by 2 so if you compare you can get this n equals to 2 and 
it's c2 equals to like that okay from these two equation you will be get this n equals to 2 n equals to 2 and value of c2 equals to 4 cos n so just put this value within this expression only n equals to 2 is valid so the solution will be like that i think clear about the solution of this question if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box this is your homework i think you can do this if there is any problem to solve these two questions you must comment in the comment box okay try yourself to do to the solution using this uh, method where i discussed here okay so this is all about me this is my contact details you can connect with me with this telegram channel and you can uh, download this pdf of this lecture series link are given in description box and this is my online platform and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will get different fees related video like this session if you learn something from this session share this video to your friends either he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you need this channel and those already subscribe thanks for subscription press the bell icon to get the notification of upcoming video so take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you